Hi, Misty Riders. Well, I, I am absolutely devastated by the war in Ukraine, and I've, I've been uh, talking to friends in Europe. It has nothing to do with mystery writing, but I just want to let you know that I personally am very upset today. Okay, today we want to talk about one huge conundrum for mystery writers, and, and that is balancing plot and characters. I know I said this before, and I'll say it again because it's so important. Mystery readers come for the plot. They want a mystery, but they stay for the characters. So we have a big challenge, and that is to create a, a plot that sets your detective on a discovery journey um, and at the same time creating characters not just our sleuth but all the characters in our mystery that keep your readers engaged and make them care about the story the plot behind the story and so when you have engaging characters readers care and they continue the story and the questions that you present in your mystery and setting up the puzzle pieces that's when they care they care because because those characters are affected and and when the characters are affected that's when your readers want to keep reading so a mystery needs a plot to lead the reader through the puzzle of solving the mystery. That's why they're there, okay? And the story structure demands that you, the author, plant clues and keep the villain hidden until that final reveal. But a mystery also needs a sleuth to guide the reader through the puzzle. And the reader identifies with your sleuth. And through empathy and admiration and readers want to follow empathic characters through the story journey so let's kind of break it down into two parts why plot a mystery um, you'll speed up your writing time and save rewrite time by fleshing out the plot and story outline before you write um, You'll know which clues and suspects your sleuth needs to find and interview and how each suspect creates the conflict that creates the twists and, and makes your sleuth rethink problems and develop twists to keep the reader in suspense. So external conflict is the bane of every sleuth, all right? People lie, they misdirect, they create obstacles that keep your sleuth from discovering the truth. So creating a storyline with obstacles of external conflict helps to drive the story and keep readers wondering how is he going to solve this? He or she going to solve this puzzle. So outline plot points to meet your mystery readers expectations. Um, those are all the mystery tropes. Uh, and when you do an outline, it doesn't have to be big. You just have to have an, an idea of the story and where it's going. And I've talked to pantsers, and pantsers keep that kind of outline in their head. But you need a, a general idea of where the story is going because you'll develop a tight, well-constructed story. And as you begin writing, you have an understanding of where that story is going uh, and it's a lot easier to plant the clues and meet the suspects when you have those story plot lines in your head all right and another thing is with the plot you subvert the reader expectations with plot twists 
uh, you want to think about ways to surprise your readers by taking the story in a new direction. And planning major twists sustains reader interest and it, and it builds their curiosity about how the mystery will be resolved. So plot, plotting beforehand helps you as a mystery writer settle on the clues and create smoke screens with suspects and hide the villain until the end. And you'll find plot holes before you start writing and save yourself hours of rewriting because the story got out of control. And knowing the basic storyline helps you write each scene faster. And mystery readers love a well-planned plot. And I know one of the other things that helps me with plotting is that I, I think I've mentioned this before too. When I'm writing a scene, I know what's going to happen next. So I'm pointing the scene in that direction. And so rather than thinking about the whole story or the end of the story. I just know that I need this scene to get me to the next scene as a writer. Okay, so that's some thoughts about plot. And then why characters? Oh my gosh. Emotion connects readers with your story. And while plot drives the storyline, your characters create the emotional connection with your reader. So while your reader may be tall or short, red-haired or brunette, their emotional makeup gets readers involved. That is what gets them involved. And that's why you need to go deep into your characters from an emotional perspective to engage your readers and get them to care. When they care about your character, they care about the mystery. Essentially, characters give your reader a reason to care. So which characters have backstory? The life they live before the story begins. And they arrive in your story with their old wounds and triumphs, their family, their friends, their enemies, their biases, and their personality traits. So you've got a lot to work with because your character is bringing all of this into your story. So character development with backstory makes characters more compelling. So the richer your background work with your character, the easier it is to plant those details when they're appropriate in the story. You don't really have a long list or a big narrative thing. All of this happened 10 years ago when blah, 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 blah. You don't need that. But you want to bring up those things that initiated character traits in the story. And you drip them through the story. And we talked and plot about external conflict. But there's also internal conflict. So internal conflict shows your reader it's not all smooth sailing for your character. Uh, you know, all those trials and tribulations help your readers care about your character and want to continue that journey with the character. And so while the mystery puzzle focuses on the outer conflict, the plot, uh, your readers engage with your characters through their inner struggles. That's how you make that emotional connection. You want to show those inner struggles that make your character human. Human. All right. Your character's point of view shows readers your character's opinions. So you want to give your characters, especially your main characters, opinions. And so what makes your character tick and how do they see the world and how do they feel and respond to what's going on in the world around them 
And that also includes how your sleuth feels about a suspect. Now, this may color the information that they receive from a suspect. So don't overlook those emotional things inside your character that can create complications for your sleuth. And as your reader follows your sleuth, they respond to that character's view of the world. They don't even have to agree with your sleuth's view of the world. They just need to know what it is and know that your sleuth cares about their opinions and their feelings. So if you're writing a series, your protagonist sleuth and supporting characters that reappear need strong character development. And as your series continues, you'll find yourself adding more details. So lots of strong work and character background really helps you make that connection with your reader that makes them want to keep reading up your story because they care about what happens to your sleuth. So story development creates a strong mystery. Plot and character development are essential to a good mystery. The time you spend working on conflict and twists keeps your story from being flat. And when you create complex, opinionated characters, you heighten the reader's emotional engagement. So you, you want to work on both of these things as you're designing your story, as it were. It, it may seem as though planning and development slow you down. But once you have your storyline and character details in mind, you'll find that writing goes faster. Um, it's a big challenge for us as mystery writers that we need to balance both of these things because both of them are high expectations for our readers. Oh, I, I hope that helps you uh, understand why both of these things are so important to us as mystery writers. And I'd love to have you put your comments below so we can start an online conversation. All right. Thank you so much and keep writing.